Hey guys, just wanted to give you another view. This is part two of the naval folding wings uh, preview. So when you're on the carrier and you want to put the plane away, you just uh, have to fold the wings up, and then you can drive around, stow the care, you know, stow the aircraft or whatever the case may be. It's just for a little bit of immersion factor here. It really doesn't have that much, uh, um, you know, effect on the game itself. Uh, now the the plane won't actually lift off if you have the wings folded it ha the, the wings will generate will, won't generate enough lift to uh, be usable as an aircraft uh, I, I don't think you're gonna find f-18s flying around with uh, their wings folded up so uh, to be realistic I cut the lift variable um, when the wings are folded so that it will not take off and I will have a little message uh, reminder box pop up when if someone were to exceed a certain speed while with the wings folded um, just to remind you you know what fold the wings back down into the flight position before you try to take off or else you're gonna have a bad experience so what I do is I just have it quick linked to the quick key and um, the same thing goes for the uh, the landing hook. I have also uh, linked to uh, another quick key. So uh, that does induce a little bit of drag, that hook, not much. So uh, to give you a little example of this, um, yeah, I'll give you a little example. Take off the brake, of course. Now I have a couple speed brakes on here, and not necessarily, well, to serve two purposes, one for landing and the other one for taking off. Once I hit 100, I just tap the brake, and it gives me a little bit of nose lift, and uh, you might have noticed on the wingtips there uh, something interesting. Something interesting is indeed going on uh, with the wingtips. So, you see those? That's if you exceed a certain G, uh, G rating it will kick off some vapor off the wing tips. And I thought you guys would be interested in that. That's pretty cool. I added that uh, late last night, but I never had a chance to add it to the other videos. So uh, this aircraft is much more maneuverable than the plane that I was using last night, uh, namely because I've reduced a little bit of the weight. These wings have a little bit of fuel in them, um, not much. Uh, they each have uh, 20 now, they used to have 40. So in order for it to become a little more uh, aerodynamic, I've um, reduced the weight of the wings. And also I've, redu I've taken off the, the larger um, naval, uh, the landing attachment that has the air brake on it and just put the standalone hook on, which is a little bit less weight as well. So this is a little more maneuverable than the other aircraft that I had in the other video. You can see it does an amazing barrel roll. <laughs> so anyway, um, inverse loop. It will still crash. I mean, it's it's an aircraft. It's gonna it will crash if you abuse it. But it's pretty damn dim. Uh, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff that you'd never be able to do with a normal KSP aircraft. Uh, and that's the whole point. You want to make something maneuverable, something that's. Uh, great for carrier landing and uh, something that can be stowed away and, and put away using as the, the least amount of space as possible. And I've, I designed it in mind for the smaller carrier that I, that I created, uh, the Release 2 carrier, because um, that's uh, still a favorite carrier. I mean, the, the big carrier is great and everything, and I like it. I'm using it more than the old carrier, but the old carrier, you know, with, the, with some of the newer parts, it will lose a lot less parts, and for people with slower machines, it would be a good it would be a good compromise to using the big carrier because of that. And um, they'll want planes because it doesn't have a lot of room inside of it. They'll want planes that can be stored easily, uh, and uh, that's what this thing does. It, it can be stored very easily. So again, um, it is quite capable. It's very nimble. <laughs> and if I were to fold those wings up, we would have a problem. So I'm just going to kill power now. And extend the brake. We'll, um... Come in for a landing, I guess.
if it was a carrier landing, I'd be putting down the hook, but it's not a carrier landing, it's just a regular old landing. Um, I would say anything under, say, 50. I mean, the, the landing gear technically have a 50 speed rip, uh, rating, but um, impact rating. I'd like to come in for landings usually around the 40 km, uh, meter per second mark. It just makes for a better landing. Now we're still aiming down. I'm, I have like a, my climb indicator says minus uh, you know 30, minus 40 meters per second. Um, when I start pulling up and leveling out, my speed's going to drop. So, and if by chance I need to gain altitude, my speed will drop even further. So I just come in a little bit, uh, you know, keep myself going on angle. Usually I want to align my view to the angle of the runway. So I kind of preempt my. Uh, the angle of the runway and I just kind of turn into that angle. I might have to adjust a little bit later on, but that makes it a little bit easier if you want to do the landing from the back like this. Um, after landing on carriers so many times, uh, regular landings are not difficult, you know, you don't even have to really try. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's, that's that. I'll, t I'll turn off the engine, bring up my uh, wings, shut off the brake, I don't want to go off the runway though. And that's it. We're done. So I hope you liked the video guys. Um, it, it is pretty cool. This little part here, I wanted to say um, I helped uh, Tyrannus, um, I believe that's his name, I can't recall his exact name, but he's making a fuel balancer modification, and I think it's really awesome, he's doing a good job on it, and it basically takes fuel, if you have fuel in the wing tanks, or fuel um, pods like this one underneath, or fuel tanks in your main fuselage, it rebalances all the fuel to keep your center of gravity pro proper. So one time I was flying out to my carrier and it was an 800 um, uh, kilometer trip, uh, which is a pretty far trip. I got to, towards the end of that trip and I had to transfer fuel from my wing pods to the center and I had to do them one at a time. What I had to do was I had to climb up to, to a really high altitude, do the transfer one wing at a time, because you lose total control once the center of gravity goes up, goes out like that. So uh, that that gives you a little bit of time to correct the aircraft before you hit the ground or the water. So this this mod, when he releases it, will be awesome. Um, and I suggest everybody look for it when it, when it is done. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like it. I'll keep working on these wings. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of graphical. Um, where are they? Right there, you see this. The, I didn't do the textures. You know, this is just a temporary texture for now. So uh, I'll keep working on it, and I'm not sure if my my naval plane parts will be released separate to uh, the carrier parts, but it might just get all released together into one in in one release. So uh, I'll take comments and see how you guys like it, and we'll go from there. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.